In my wildest dreams, uh, and I've had some pretty big dreams and some wild dreams uh, in my life, uh, I never saw this coming. Uh, while I grew up playing sports, uh, supporting uh, my three children in their sports endeavors, and can often be found cheering for my favorite uh, sports teams, uh, all of that is very different uh, from receiving a call from the owner of an NBA team uh, with a passionate, and I, I can't stress that enough, with a passionate and heartfelt invitation uh, to contribute to sports and the community in a very unique way. I'm honored to have been asked by Mark to join him in addressing some very serious issues. I'm saddened, and I'll say that again, I'm very saddened that issues of domestic violence and sexual harassment are so prominent in our society and allegations have surfaced once again in our organization. Mark has been transparent and accountable in his remarks to the media, but I want you to know behind the scenes, we are also responding. Although we are in the early stages of our response, we have identified three immediate areas of focus. The investigation, culture transformation, and operational effectiveness. So allow me to briefly review all three of those areas. Regarding the investigation, independent investigators are in the process of conducting interviews with current and former, we're covering both, current and former employees. The purpose of the interviews is to make sure that all issues and allegations are surfaced and addressed. We need everything to come out. Allegations will be thoroughly investigated and any required disciplinary action will be administered swiftly, very swiftly. Culture transformation. We've developed a plan focused on fostering an inclusive and supportive culture in the organization. What I mean by inclusive is a work environment where all cultures, genders, abilities and backgrounds are valued and celebrated. People are respected and treated fairly. A culture where pay is equitable for men and women. All employees have access to opportunities. Diversity is represented in all parts of the organization and at all levels. It's a workplace where there is zero tolerance. Let me repeat that, I just covered this with the team this afternoon. A place where there is zero tolerance for sexual harassment, domestic violence, or any type of inappropriate behavior. The third area is operational effectiveness. We are committed to running a business of excellence with systems, processes, and policies that are easy to navigate and that meet the needs of our employees and our customers. Specifically, we are starting with improving our employee complaint process. Our goal is for the Dallas Mavericks organization to be a great place to work for everyone. Not for a few people, but for everyone. A place of character and integrity, where individuals are held accountable for their actions. Let me close my prepared remarks by thanking a few people. I want to say thank you to the women who raised their voices and told their stories. Let me say that again. Thank you women who told your stories and who raised your voice. Thank you to the Dallas Maverick employees who are coming to work each day and performing with excellence during a very challenging time. I've met with the team and I will tell you what I walked into last week and what I saw today are very committed people. Many who have given 20, 30, 36 years to this fine organization. They are wonderful, wonderful people. I want to say thank you to our fans who have continued to show up. And thanks to those who have given us feedback and criticism. And you can well imagine we've received a lot of it. We will be better because of it. We are determined to come out better because of this. Thank you.